to my channel today. I'm putting to the test two products. I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder that I have been using since I started my channel. It's been, I think, a little over a, no, yeah, a little over a year now. I still have a lot of product. Uh, this retails around $60 uh, Canadian um, and the thing about these uh, products is that they last a very they last a very long time I know they're expensive but uh, they easily last over a year and I have the mini version of the cover effects translucent light powder I got the mini one because I have this Laura Mercier powder and I just really want to test it. Uh, I really wanted to test this Cover FX one. I love the Laura Mercier, um, but lately I feel that it's been drying me out tremendously. My lash is coming off. Just one way. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna apply uh, the Cover FX one on the right side of my face, your left, and the Laura Mercier on my left side your right so oops. so uh, I already did my makeup like you guys can see I actually did this makeup for my French channel I just started a French channel I've been wanting to do it for a very long time and I finally got around and filmed this first look actually this is my second look um, I did the haul in French as well. I did it in Spanish, so I actually I'm actually challenging myself to do three videos a week. So we'll see how it goes. Anywho, so um, I think so. I haven't applied any any powder yet. I even have to go to the gym later, so it's gonna be amazing uh, to see how these uh, powders perform under those conditions so uh, I think I want to go in with a sponge I don't know applying it with a brush doesn't do it for me um, I find that it doesn't really apply evenly on my face so I really have to touch up throughout the day so for me the sponge does it so like I said I haven't uh, applied any powder yet and honestly i'm not creasing at all which is amazing i do have my concealer on obviously i got a little bit of my true love the la girl pro concealer in the color creamy beige and of course the kat von d locket concealer love this concealer i bought it in canada um I wanted to get the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, uh, but they don't sell it in Canada, I believe. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I really wanted to get that uh, Shape Tape uh, Concealer from Tarte, but they don't sell it in Canada. Um, so I got this while I was there. Now I'm in the US, but uh, I paid a lot for this concealer, so I guess the Tarte one will have to wait. So yeah, so this is what I applied as concealer and for foundation I went with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Um, I've had this foundation for I think close to 8 months now and I st still have a lot. Uh, I also have my Milani one. Guys, I haven't bought any makeup for the longest time. I think I haven't bought any makeup since I would say I don't know five months ago and I do have a lot of makeup and I just can't I'm, I'm gonna wait a while and we'll see how many videos I can create without buying any products anywho uh, so uh, yeah so I'm gonna put these two to the test and see how well they perform so I'm going to be applying it and I will get back to you guys. How are you going? Okay. Um, bye. I'm so thirsty right now. Okay. All 
Alright guys, so I have the powder on. It looks ridiculous, but it's it's okay. So, uh, I have the Laura Mercier on my left side. Um, and I have the Cover FX one on the right. So I'm just going to bake a little bit for about a minute or two before uh, removing the products. And we'll see how these, this, uh, these powder... This powder does. This powder do. These powders. Hello. Okay. So we'll see how these powders do. All right, guys. So I, I zoomed you a little more just so you can see uh, how the under eye and everything looks uh, after I powder. After I went with the powder. So now I'm ready to go on and remove it with this dual fiber brush from Morphe. Alright, so I have removed the powder from the cover FX. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the Laura Mercier side. Alright guys, so I have removed both powders and... To be honest, I really don't see a difference. Uh, they both set my concealer and my, my foundation nicely. Um, I haven't baked in a long, long time. And I was really missing out. I feel that my concealer is not cakey at all. I don't have any creasing going on on both sides. Um, I did apply a little bit of a, a highlight as you can see on my forehead and you can still see that luminosity still from the highlight the um, yeah highlighters so um, that's pretty good. I thought it was going to mattify that. But um, in general, I think both look very nice on the skin. Um, I feel the, uh, the Laura Mercier one feels drier. That's the only thing I can tell you right now. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to check it in in a couple of hours or so. Uh, maybe a little later um, I'm going to the gym and then I guess I will show you what uh, these two are doing so yeah so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so I've got you zoomed in and it's about nine it's almost 10 o'clock at night so it's been a few hours uh, I went to the gym and yeah so this is how my makeup looks all right guys so I zoomed you a little closer uh, so you guys can see my face honestly I do not see any difference um, my concealer looks like it's locked in on both sides i do see a little bit of creasing under the eye um my forehead looks kind of oily just because i like i said i went to the gym and uh i did sweat a little bit uh here on the cheekbones below the cheekbones uh honestly i don't have any foundation there anymore um, I can see my little pimples I have and a little bit of pigmentation so um, both sides look similar honestly uh, and the chin honestly I don't see any difference at all I just feel 
that I don't know if it's the lighting or so but I just feel that the left side actually it's because of my light I do have some creasing because of the small uh, smile lines but in general honestly it looks absolutely it looks the same so like I mentioned earlier I I still feel like the Laura Mercier feels a lot drier and the cover effects is the total opposite like I don't feel it at all on my face so this test wear is pretty hard because honestly I would have loved to say to you guys tell you guys that one was my favorite but um, honestly I don't see a difference uh, I will say that if I had to choose I will go with the cover effects just because I don't feel that it's drying mm. just for that I personally would go with the cover effects one so there you have it guys my wear test I know I look awful right now I have to go take a shower and go to bed so yeah um, it was a tough one uh, very very tough to choose between these two powders i personally would go with the cover effects one like i mentioned earlier just because it feels lighter on my skin and uh yeah but both gave me honestly the same result so there you have it if you have one of these powders let me know if you have both powders let me know and tell me which one is your favorite um so yeah so thank you so much for watching guys before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you again guys for watching and i'll catch you next time Mwah.